Hi, I'm Robert Evett. Well, there's lots and lots of Androids out there, and quality varies, but it's really hard to find one that truly does something different. And, uh, well, the HTC One, the successor to the HTC One X, um, does things different, definitely. But not only that, but it does things differently really well. Let's take a look. Well, so here we are, and it starts out by being a really nice looking phone. I mean, you've got a nice gently curved aluminum back here, which, uh, which I really like. Uh, turn it on, and well, it looks a little different from the regular Android lock screen, but that becomes very apparent when you go to the home screen. And now the home screen isn't your typical Android home screen. It is actually a news feed that will include all kinds of things like Facebook updates, news postings, uh, tweets, things like that. The best thing is, is that as opposed to Facebook Home, which is where the idea might have come from, you can actually customize what shows up. Uh, now you've only got a few different things to choose from, but if, uh, if nothing else, you can get uh, get a pretty decent source of news and so it's a it's a good way to uh, you know kill time if you've got uh, got a little bit of time to wait uh, you've got an instant weather feed here so and which is a change that is actually pretty handy well uh, the android stuff is still there you just swipe to the side and uh, you can customize it and change it as usual they've also changed the uh, the app selection here where you can create folders, you can scroll vertically, and things like that. Another thing I have is a nice H, uh, HTC TV app, which can act as both a uh, schedule finder and a remote control. Right now, I've got something that shows everything that is on right now, but I can get stuff that is on demand. And this is all popping up through uh, Cox Communications, but you can also select what's coming on through Hulu or, um, or other cable providers, things like that. You can also use it as a remote control, which I unfortunately can't show you here. It's, uh, it all seems reasonably handy. And uh, well, on top of that, it's just a well put together phone. I mean, the uh, the camera has lots of uh, editing options. The uh, the processor seems speedy. Everything pulls up smoothly, and it's uh, it's got its own personality. I mean, instead of doing the uh, the pop back uh, thing, it kind of stretches out in uh, in its own way, which uh, which I really like. So it's. Uh, a remarkably good experience. I mean, it's uh, it's one of the first times I've actually been impressed by the uh, by the customizations uh, that have been laid over uh, Android.